anyway. Now I was told that the guy that invented the crossword, he's buried in here. The sixth grave is right back there behind a the big tree. Can you see it? Just count the graves, three down, four across. You can stop looking now, guys, gotcha. I'm going to go up here around to the right, you'll see the home of the Dean of St. Patrick's. There's a red brick building on the right hand side as we turn. It's where the Dean lives. The current Dean is Robert McCarthy. His house is the corner here on the right. The home of the Dean. Dean of St. Patrick's, a man by the name of Jonathan Swift. He was Dean from 1713 up until his death in 1745. Now while he was Dean, he wrote many novels. The most famous novel he wrote was one called Gulliver's Travels. It was Jonathan Swift, the most famous Dean of St. Patrick's. Jonathan Swift, in fact, is the only Dean to be actually buried inside the cathedral itself. We're going to turn right back up past St. Patrick's again, you can take a follow at a different angle. Then back up towards Christchurch Cathedral also. standing today is on our left hand side. In fact if you look slightly behind you on the left, you see the old wall? Yeah, does that look slightly behind you? See it on the left? It's pretty big. 
Can you imagine that wall going around the city? Let's say we've just come through the wall, through the part of Dublin, outside the old city, known as the Liberties area. This area gets the name Liberties from the medieval times. Because basically, the people living outside the walls, they were not under the rules of the governors of the city. They did not pay the taxes of the city. And they could trade as freely as they wished. 